My name is Paige Benzel. I am a sophomore at LP, and the thing I like most about LP is all of the different things that you can do and all of the different, um, what's the word? Opportunities. And I really like the way how everyone's included in all activities. I love that LP feels like a, a home away from home. People get along so well. Not just students, but like students, teachers, the relationship between everybody. There's always an opportunity to do something new. Everyone is one. Like we all, I don't know, like the Cavalier family, we're all one. I see many emotions come out of Deb that uh, you normally wouldn't see from a principal, but she really does care about the kids. It gets emotional because when Deb took over, the atmosphere totally changed and everybody loved teaching here and I love teaching here. You're not going to put that in there, are you? <laughs> She's definitely my inspiration. She, uh, she's the heart of this school. I've loved working with you the last 19 years. I'm really going to miss you, and I could never say no to you, and that's why I'm here right now. Her desire to do what's right for kids, I guess, is, is what drives me to do uh, as much as I can for kids. Mrs. Nelson, please don't retire. We need you to stay here at LP High School. The students need you, the staff, the faculty. Work another 10 years. Mrs. Nelson's just a special person. She's got this innate ability to relate to anyone, um, kids, adults, young adults, um, and, and she just kind of meets you where you're at, and that's that's something that a lot of people don't have. You know, she always ends her, her speeches with, again, telling the kids, don't text and drive, always wear your seatbelt. Oh yeah, and, and it says, um, always wear your seatbelt, because that's something that Mrs. Nelson says um, at every assembly, and oftentimes when she ends an announcement, she says that as well. I love her. I think she's the best. And uh, I couldn't ask for someone to be more supportive. I couldn't ask for someone to give more of themselves to anything I've ever asked. And at times I haven't even needed to ask.